Guys, literally, look. We're back. And I've got a very mysterious message. I don't ever think I've got a message from this person before. Yonder. It's not yonder. Literally. I've got a brand new message from God damn yonder. So, that was on yonder. Hope this message finds you well. I wanted to share something with you. That's been on my mind recently. And I must admit that I've become it's becoming a daily routine for me. You see, I've developed a strong affinity for playing roulette. Roulette. It's a thrilling pastime that I've come to enjoy immensely. Now, I know what you're you might be thinking. Is this turning into an addiction? We're not having another addiction. This is too many addictions. But I want to assure you that it's not. I'm in control. And I'm just doing this for fu for the fun of it. It's a way for me to unwind and experience a little excitement at the end of each day. Roulette. With its spinning wheel and unpredictability. Offers unique thrill, kind of thrill. I enjoy the rush I get from placing bets and watching the wheel determine the outcome. It's like an escape. From the other, from the everyday roulette. I understand that, that, that concerns about alcohol can be legitimate for sure. And I appreciate your vigilance in looking out for me. But I want you to know that I'm in allowing it to take, I'm not allowing it to take over my life. Hmm. I'm setting limits for myself, both in terms of time and money. So that it remains a form of entertainment rather than a problem. <laughs> If it keeps going, it could turn into a gambling problem. I believe in responsible gaming, and I'm taking steps to assure it keeps that way. I wouldn't let something like this jeopardise my well-being or impact my daily life. Hmm. Way bit weird, that fact. If I ever felt it was becoming a problem, I'd be the first to seek help and step away from it. Say, at least it would, like, help. From now, DJ, just know... That it's an enjoyable pastime for me. And I'm being cautious to ensure it stays that way. Your concern means a lot for me, to me. And I want you to understand that I'm taking this seriously. I hope you can respect my perspective on this. And we can continue to support each other. In making responsible choices in our lives. Feel free to share thoughts. Take care and let's chat soon. Yonder. I'm we bit. 50-50 on this. There's two reasons, right? Number one, Yonder, you kidding me, right? Could Yonder be developing a gambling problem? I don't know. If he's pushing the... I know he may not see that, but if he's doing that... Where did, where did he say that? A daily routine. That's a gambling problem. If you're putting bets on every day, it may not seem like a problem, but it really is. So, maybe uh, he has a gambling problem, but he can't admit it. He can't admit that he has a problem. But, I want to say, let's say it's chat soon, so maybe he'll send me another message tomorrow, but I don't know what's going on here with Yonder. I never got a message from Yonder, and it could all tie into this Christmas stuff, but I don't know what's going on. We'll have to see what happens next. Right, guys, we're back. Right. Right. Got a brand new message today, chat. Got a brand new message today from P.C. George. Yeah. Remember the guy you arrested, Trent? It could be an update on the whole situation. But they let it go, so why would the text? We'll find out now, won't we? DJ, I felt it was essential to reach out to you. Because I'm becoming deeply concerned about Yonder's recent gambling activities. Particularly in playing roulette. He said that yesterday, yeah. It's reached a point where the situation has become genuinely wor worrisome. Over the past few weeks, Yonder has been spending hundreds of dollars daily on roulette. Where's he getting the money from? 
Despite the initial assurances that it wasn't turning into an addiction, it's evident that things have taken a different turn. Younger is not backing down or showing any signs of resistance. His involvement in high stakes gambling is not only a cause for concern in terms of financial consequences, but also in the toll, toll it's taking on his well being. Gambling, especially when it comes to a daily habit with significant financial implications, can lead to a host of problems, including addiction and emotional distress. I'm aware that Yonder initially assured you and the others that he was in control of the situation. Yeah, he did. But it's important that this no longer is the case. The lure of the roulette wheels unpredictably and excitement can be a highly addictive. And it appears to have taken grip on Yonder. I strongly believe it's time to intervene. We need to reach out to Yonder to have an open conversation about the potential risk and consequences of his gambling behaviour. It's essential to support him realising the determination for finances and well-being. Please consider talking to you on the Why does everyone want me to talk to people? How am I the problem fixer? Goodness. And the other, uh, about the matter and offering your support. Encourage them to seek help and find ways to regain control. Maybe I can try and get um, Emma, therapist Emma, possibly to look into while I understand he may be resistant, it's crucial that he knows his friends are concerned for his welfare and are willing to help him through his, this challenging period. I look forward to your response. Take care and let's act with Yonder's best interest, PC George. I don't know why PJ, PC George is really intervening in this whole thing, but definitely, we do need to help Yonder. Yonder has an addiction. A major, major addiction. Who knows what can happen with him? It could be bad, it could be really bad, but whatever it is, Yonder needs help. Guys, we're back. We're back. We're back. I've got a message from Yonder's friend. We're gonna read up. I'm sorry, I'm still dealing with George's death last like like Still dealing with the loss of PC George, but we have to. He would want us to be happy. We're trying to make it just anyway. I heard it's on the 27th of December, so yeah. It's a heavy part and a sense of deep concern that I write to you today. You only have observed a series, a series of unfortunate events that seem to resolve around a pattern of risky decisions, particularly in the realm of gambling. He's still gambling even after George's death? It pains me to say this, but it appears that he might have lost everything due to, your, to his recent gambling activities. You're, um, I am worried about his well-being and the consequences of his choices. It's crucial to recognise his the impact that gambling can have on one's life, both financially and emotionally, yeah. Despite the challenging circumstances, I, I will understand that there is support available and it's never too late to seek help. I need Yonder to believe in the ability to overcome challenges and hope that he can find strength to address this issue. He needs to remember acknowledging the problem is the first step towards a positive change. I care so much for Yonder. And I, ha I encourage him to reach out to his friends, family or professionals who can provide him assistance he needs. Life is full of ups and downs. And with the right support, he can navigate through these difficult times. Yonder's friend. Yonder's gone. Yonder has gone with everything I left. Got another friend a message, but this one is actually got that from Yonder himself. Yonder has gambled everything away, even after PC George's advice. He has seriously just PC George is dead. I find myself in a situation that's difficult to articulate. The twist of fate have led me to the loss of my home and now as unbelievable as it may sound I am 
finds solace on a cold park bench beneath the starless sky. He's homeless. You can. The circumstances are dire. I want you to know the meaning of challenges ahead. It's a painful reality to confront. The stark contrast from the comfort of a home and harness of the street. I've never imagined reaching this point and the weight of the situation is overwhelming. Sleeping on a park bench brings a profound sense of vulnerability. I hope to confide the depth of this experience, a stark reminder of life's unpredictability. In these moments of pain, I reflect on the choices made and an unpredictably turn that led to this soon. DJ, I share this with you to, not to explicitly pity, but as a testament to the unpredictable nature of life. It serves as a plea to appreciate the stability that may be taken for granted. I still believe in the strength to endure, to overcome these adversities, but it's an overdose or arduous journey that requires support and understanding. Wishing for better times. Yonder. Yonder. I'll send you some money, but I'm telling you, if you gamble it away, I, I'm sorry. I won't help you again. Gone over message from me on there. I flip and sent him 500 quid. In the midst of these challenging times, I want you to know that there's a resolve to confront the chances head on. It's become clear that Chirpy played a significant role in the unfortunate events that transpired. And I am determined to make Chirpy be accountable for the consequences. <laughs> what? Don't tell me! No! I'm gonna riff on that money. So you're trying to tell me here that Yonder is blaming Chirpy because Chirpy set him up with the left hand man's death. He didn't go to prison. Chirpy officially told the trip and went to prison. Chirpy's a prison. And he said that because of that, him being set up is the reason he gambled? What? What? Four months later, he starts gambling and it's all of Chirpy's fault. No, it's his own. He can't even get accountability for his own actions. He is homeless, living on a park bench. The belief in justice and the recognition that the situation is not solely a result of gambling, but a complex range of circumstances and the driving force behind this decision. You're trying to say that gambling is not the reason you're homeless and have lost everything. What does this world come to? What does this world actually come to? Seriously, Yonder can't even take accountability for his action. What is he gonna ask? What is he the dead body here today? Is he gonna ask someone for money or is he gonna try and get revenge on Charlie? I don't know what's going on here. This is not an admission of guilt as a gambler, but a declaration to hold Chirpy responsible for the term turmoil that Al has unfolded. I acknowledge the gravity of the situation and is commit and I'm committed to ensuring that Chirpy faces the repercussions of his actions. It's time for accountability and hopefully a chance for redemption. In the face of adversity, I stand firm and resolve. Together, we'll navigate through these troubled waters. Yonder. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to help you any long, yo, longer, Yonder. If you're really, seriously, going to do this, I cannot help you anymore. It's up to you. What's your decision? Yonder, a troubled 15-year-old, paces nervously in his dimly lit living room. The door creaks open, and Chirpy just out of prison, steps inside with a mixture of guilt and regret. What brings you here, Chirpy? More trouble? Chirpy takes a deep breath, preparing to come clean. Under, I need to confess. I framed you for the left-hand man's death. It was all me. Under's eyes narrow, a storm of anger brewing inside. You ruined my life, Chirpy. Why should I believe anything you say? Chirpy, pleading tries to explain himself. I was desperate and blinded by my mistakes. But I want to make things right. Please, Yonder, find it in your heart to forgive me. Torn between anger and the desire for closure, hesitates. The confrontation escalates, moving to an abandoned warehouse. I can't forgive you, Chirpy. You destroyed everything I had. Chirpy, desperate for forgiveness, steps forward, hands raised in surrender. 
I know I messed up, yonder. I just want a chance to make amends. Yonder seething with anger grabs a brick off the ground. This is for everything you took from me. Yonder swings the brick, and it connects with Chirpy, who crumples to the ground. Oh God, what have I done? He's dead. I need to move his body. Wait, no, I need to make a run for it. I can't let anyone know I killed Chirpy. I need to get in my car and go. Is Chirpy really the dead body? Or is Chirpy still alive? Guys, I don't even know what to say. Like, I just got a flippin' low message from flippin' yonder. Right. For I bring news that could potentially have altered the course of my fate. Believe it or not. Wait, no. This is... Oh, this is Yonder's friend. Oh, believe it or not. Wait, no. Believe it or not, I have struck gold, or more accurately, the lottery numbers aligned in my favour. No way. And fortune has chosen to grace me with a solution smile. Now you might be thinking, Yonder, this is incredible news. A lottery win is the dream of many. And you are right. It is indeed a rare stroke of luck that can change lives. However, my dear friend, before you reveal too much in the excitement of my newfound riches, I must confess that there's a twist to this tale that dims the glow of a golden jackpot. You see, the only fates I am no longer stranger with the worms of chance and luck, having danced with the fiddle of, of gambling for a grand part of my life. Yeah, like Yonder is a gambler and he needs to admit that. And, he, and it seems like he's still gambling. Like, yeah, he did do, win the lottery, yes, but, you know, he's just going to go back and gamble at all. And it's sad. Winning the lottery, while intentionally a cause for celebration, brings with a certain irony that I cannot overlook. It's as if fate in its countless humour, has chosen this moment to test my resolve and has challenged the very essence of my existence. I find myself standing at the crossroads, DJ, where the intoxicating and your potential winning slashes with the society reality of my gambling history. Then it's palpable, and I cannot help but feel a sense of tradition mingling with the elation that one would normally assume with such a windfall. So my friend, as you offer your heartfelt congratulations, know, know that this journey ahead is one lone and complexity. The path to financial freedom and the pitfalls of temptation now courage, and I must tread carefully to avoid being insured by the siren son of high strokes and uncertain outcomes. May the dice of destiny roll in our favour, even as we confront the current nature of the unexpected windfall. Yonder. Bro, I'm, I, I know I should be excited for Yonder, but yeah, congratulations, he won the lottery. Yes, but he's a gambler. And yeah, he might have won the lottery. But that means he's still gambling all his money away. Yonder is a gambler. And he won't see that until he gets help. Yes, he has that money, yeah. So now stop gambling. Oh, yonder. Okay, guys, this is, this is why, um, this is a little bit concerning. Um, I just wanted to say that, like, this is concerning, right? So, Yonder has sent me a message. Yonder, you know, I mean, he has a gambling addiction. I haven't even seen him before Christmas. He did say he was confronting Sharpie, but I didn't hear nothing else about that. Right. There's something on my mind, and I feel like I need it to share with you. You know I've always been drawn to a bit of risk and thrill, right? Yeah, you're a gambler, Yonder. Well, recently I've been contemplating trying my luck at a high-risk, high-reward game at the casino. Wait, no. He won the lottery. No, he won the lottery, uh, like, a week or two ago. Like... He's a millionaire. He's not going to go back to please. I'm sorry, but nah. I've done some research and it seems like an opportunity that could potentially lead to a significant win. You have millions. What else do you have to win? Are you going to lose it all? Those casinos are all a big scam. Like He's going to use all, lose his lottery winnings. Of course, there's an equal chance of things not going my way. It's a gamble. Quite literally. Yes, you're a gambler yonder. Please don't do it. I wanted to talk to you about it because your opinion matters to me and I value your perspective. Yes, yonder. Please don't. You need to get help. Go to a gambling support group or something. Like, this is bad. I understand the risk involved and I'm not taking this decision lightly. I've set aside a specific budget so I won't go overboard. But, but before I proceed, I wanted to get your thoughts on this. Do you think it's too much of a gamble or do you believe I'm prepared to waste all my money on one single bet. Do I do it? Oh God, no. Guys, we're back and Yonder is literally doing his flipping gamble. 
This is bad. This is bad. I hope you're doing well. I've thought a lot about our recent conversation. And after weighing the pros and cons, I've decided to go ahead and try my luck at the casino. No, it's a bit nerve wracking. Considering the stakes, but I'm approaching it with caution and keeping to the budget I set for myself. As I walked into the casino tonight, there was a palpable sense of antip anticipation in the air. The atmosphere was charged with excitement, and I couldn't help but feel a mix of nerves and adrenaline. I found the table for the game I've been eyeing, and without overthinking, I placed my bet. The dealer handed me the dice, and as I held them in my hand, I couldn't help but feel the weight of the decision I've just made. In that moment, time seemed to slow down. The casino lights flickered and the sounds of the crowd faded into the background. I took a deep breath, steadied my hand and released the dice into the air. They spun, catching the reflections of the vibrant lights around. It feels like a moment frozen in time, hanging on the edge of possibility. I wish I could describe the mix of anticipation and the thing. And now as I write this, I'm actually waiting for the dice to land. The outcome is unknown, and there's a certain thrill in that. I'll keep you posted on how it unfolds. Wish me luck, yonder. To be continued. Guys, previously yonder threw a dice. He's trying to gamble all his lottery winnings. It's a bad idea. He's a gambler. He got threw the dice at the casino, and he's put a bet of all his lottery winnings on it. That's millions of dollars. And he could, of course, go out with more millions. But no, he could lose it all. It's a 50-50 chance. This is bad. It is with a heavy heart that I show this up to you. The dice have landed. And unfortunately, luck wasn't on my side this time. I've lost all the money I had on that bet. And it's a bit... Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? He lost his money. As you know, I've had a, I had a substantial amount set aside for this venture and it's just starting to see it all vanish in an instant. The reality is sinking in and it's quite a humbling experience. From being a millionaire to having nothing in the blink of an eye, it's a stark contrast. Yonder, you did, like you gambled your money. You had millions to survive for the rest of your life and you gambled. You are so stupid. Why did you gamble? Millions. I wanted to reach out and tell, let you know what happened. I think we know what happened, don't we? I appreciate your support and advice, and I'll definitely take this as a lesson learned. It's a tough moment. Too little, too soon, yonder. Too little, too soon. You gambled all your money away. For what? To lose it all. Have nothing. Be back to being homeless. You had the luck of winning the lottery weeks ago, and now you've lost it in the blink of an eye. Yonder, you're a dirty gambler. Guys, I got another message from Yonder. Yonder has lost all his lottery winners because he gambled at the casino. And I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Yonder gambling his money. He needs help. He's back to homeless again, 100%. It's been a roller coaster of emotion since the casino in incident. Yeah, I think it is. And I wanted to update you on this situation. Unfortunately, the losses were more significant than I initially thought, and I find myself in a tough spot. I've exhausted my resources, and it's a hard reality, harsh result, reality to face, but I'm currently without a place to stay. What did I say? It's a challenging situation, and I'm grappling with the consequences of my decision. I never imagined it would come to this, and I understand the gravity of the situation. I've, I'm reaching out not just to share the news, but also to seek, to seek your guidance. I value our friendship, and I know I've made some poor choices. If you have any advice if there's or if there's any way you could support me through the challenging time, I would greatly appreciate it. Yonder, yonder, you're a gambler. You gambled all your money away. All your money away. And for what? For a bit of fun? It's stupid and it's disgusting. You gambled every single money you've had. You've had this gambling addiction since the start of November. Who knows, maybe even August as well. Like.
it's just this detection is nearly less than three months like you, you you need to stop you know it's going too far we are back guys how is everybody doing hope you all have a good we got a brand new message from yonder so let's see it in the shadows where i dwell a sinister plan is taking shape a plan so risky that the very fabric of fate quivers at the audacity Brace yourself for the chilling revelation, for I am brink of executing a scheme that will send shockwaves for the realm of the unknown. The details are shrouded in darkness, known only to those who dare to dance on the plane of risk and danger. With each calculated step, the line between audacity and insanity blurred, and the unpending consequences of class long, forbidding shadows. As I embark on this tremendous journey, I exact the cryptic warning, the whispers of impending doom echo in the corridors of fate, the risk I am to take the trend of extraordinary, and the repercussions may be as unpredictable as the chaos I'm about to unleash. Prepare yourself, DJ, for the anomalous tide is rising, and the looming spectre of my daring plan may soon cast its pull around the world. Yonder. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? What is yonder about to do? You better not do it. This is just something about gambling again. I've had enough of his gambling. Oh God, what's he planning? Guys, this is an After Dark episode. I don't know what to say, but I just got a message from Yonder and this is something you should never do. What the hell? Yonder has just told me he's about to flip in rig an ambulance for an insurance scam. What? Remember, not that, like a week or two ago, Yonder said he like something about dark and all this so he oh sorry he's that was about rigging an ambulance he's rigging an ambulance for money because he's poor he, he lost the thing he's rigging an ambulance what could that do let's read it dj it's time for me to tell you the truth i have to rig an ambulance i'm being forced to do it by somebody what and i have no other choice I need the money badly after losing it all in that big gamble a month ago. Please, DJ, could you help me? I ain't not helping, no, no, Yonder, no. But, yes. Thank you for your understanding. I don't understand anything. You're about to ring an ambulance. Who knows what casualties I could do? Why are you about to ring an ambulance? I'm sorry, DJ. But I have to. The money is needed. And I have no other choice. Yonder. Oh my god, guys. Yonder's about to ring an album. Guys, do you know the severity? You never do something like that. Dude, he's going to go to jail. He's going to go to jail. Yonder's going to go to jail. His gambling is going to make him go to jail. Yonder's gambling is going to make him go to jail. Does he not understand that? Does he not understand what he's going to do? He is going to go to jail for a long time. If that, he might even cause a death. This is all Yonder's fault. What's going to happen? Guys, I'm shaking right now, bro. I just got a flip of message from Yonder. I don't know what's going on, but I think he's just revealed something. He literally told me last week that he was rigging an ambulance for an insurance scam. What is he doing? But guys... There's also another message, two messages, and I'm dead and scared because I don't know what's going to go on all today. I don't, right? So let's read it. It's the night before something big goes down on the motorway. Crap, I gotta come clean about something that's been eating at me. D.I. Marco Jackson, the guy we all thought was on the up and up, turns out he's got a dark side. He's corrupt to the core. What? Bro, he's trying to find Kara's killer. What do you mean he's corrupt to the core? What? I wish it ended there, but there's an ambulance crash about to hit town and Marco's tang up, tangled up in it. Wait, this is not meant to be. The town's on the brink and it's up to someone to step. It's going to happen on the motorway tonight. It was There was meant to be nobody inside, but Lily Felicia has been pushed and attacked out of window by Max Cooper. She is in the ambulance with Emma right now. I don't know what's going to happen. Crap, crap. Well, we... Um, the night's heavy with secrets and the question now is we will we let the tragedy happen or can we stop it in time and expose Marcus to colours? Tomorrow tomorrow who's the answer is gonna be a game changer. Oh god, oh god, oh my god. Tonight's the night. Oh god, I'm already I'm already bro. 
I'm not ready, guys. I don't know, like, I have to keep on the news if anything happens. Like, we have multiple people, our friends and all. Lily was attacked by Max Cooper. Lily Felicia, I didn't know about that. And she's in the ambulance with Emma. Oh, God, oh, God. And then we've got the Robinsons. And, of course, Patsy. I've got to stay tuned on the news. I don't know what's going to happen, but stuff's about to go down. But, hopefully, the next... I don't... Oh, God, oh, God. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I've got to stay tuned. I've got to keep looking at the computer. I've got to keep waiting to see what is going to happen because I'm getting scared. This is scary. What is going to happen? I feel by the wayside like everyone else. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, but I was just kidding myself. Our every moment, I start a replace. Cause now that the corner like he were the words that I needed to say When you hurt under the surface Like troubled water running cold Well time can heal but this won't So Never the right time, whenever you're cold Went little by little by little until there was nothing at all Our every moment, I start to replay But all I can think about is seeing that look on your face When you hurt under the surface Like troubled water running cold Well time can heal but this won't Today we lost the life of Emma, Lily Felicio. Patsy Doom.
D.I. Marco Jackson has been arrested for the insurance scam that caused deaths. On the 2nd of March, 2024, after D.I. Marco Jackson tried to flee after being arrested, he was fatally killed in a tragic car accident. An hour later, after the tragic pileup on the motorway. On the 2nd of March 2024, Yonder has decided to leave for good after he was slightly to blame for the insurance scam. Stop.